Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com on this April 15th, 2015. Erwin R. Scheister. It's his day. Um, great, I can make that joke on this show. It went, didn't make sense on the other one, nope, unless you're a wrestling fan. Um, and I botched it. Anyways, uh, please check out our friends, PittsburghWrestling.com, including uh, just released digital download. You can actually go pick up on uh, right there. Uh, or pre-order the DVD for IWC's Night of the Superstars 4. Ric Flair was a part of that show. Kevin Nash in a six-man tag that also involved Gangrel, of all people. Uh, Evan Bourne, the former Evan Bourne, Evan Bourne of Matt Seidel against DJ Zima Ion. That's right, Ring of Honor versus TNA action going on there. Uh, worth it, $9.99. You can pick up uh, all uh, individual matches for $1.99 each if you go click over there so let's get with it um this was a story that was breaking our friend chris larusso speaking of ring of honor uh the, you know uh, a guy that's popped up on that tv a couple of times um was breaking with us this thing that happened in uh, uk fans you guys are crazy holy crap so there is this group of yahoos over there that uh did a little bit of a prank i guess this is some kind of prank online team called uh troll station and you see them here. If you're on video uh, with us, you can you can find this uh, uh, Troll Station Invade SmackDown will probably come up really easily on YouTube. Uh, but they're there. Uh, SmackDown was being taped, and uh, there was there was the main event. And you see uh, quick clips on here of John Cena, of uh, of uh, uh, Cesaro and, and and Tyson Kidd coming out, and then all of a sudden running into the crowd, or in from the crowd, is a bunch of of one guy. And you see him, I think he's got a wrestling mask on. Immediately, not immediately, he gets a good, he actually gets a good showing in there. He gets a good couple seconds of posing. It takes off his mask, everything, and you just see security descend upon him. And then you also see, and I think there's a kind of an edit here, while they're detaining the one guy, they're not paying attention to these two other guys that are popping up. to And, and get enough room to rock bottom their friend and pose on the ropes. And the wrestlers are just standing in the corner, of course. Um, this is funny. It's a dangerous precedent. We talked about it a little bit on the show last night. But, um, it, you know, certainly I, we don't want... I, this is dangerous. And these guys, I mean, these guys are going to be prosecuted, uh, unfortunately. Uh, or fortunately. And um, it is disre- disrespectful, for sure. It's damn funny that they got to pull this off. I mean, this is this is the guy running. This is the guy streaking in, in the football field uh, kind of situation, right? Um, you have to uh, uh, admire the balls, but still, it's like, man, you guys shouldn't be doing that. But thank you for our entertainment that you now have to pay this fine. Uh, I hope you get plenty and plenty of YouTube hits, and it pays for those fines at least. Uh, but they got attention. I, I know what Troll Station is, right? And, uh, you know, it's kind of an interesting way to do that. Uh, but UK fans, freaking nuts. But... Uh, It's funny, but it does bring down the conversation of, you know, one, you don't see this happen anymore. It'll be, it's SmackDown, so of course they're going to edit around it to some regard. Um, I, I, because I believe this is the main event because there was another dark match including Roman Reigns, so I think this is the main event of SmackDown itself that we should be seeing here on Thursday night. Um, this thing is almost to 8,000 views on YouTube, or I'm sorry, on Facebook, so if it's on YouTube anywhere, I'm sure it's a lot, a lot more than that since that's gotten around. So, um, so what do you think about this? Uh, what do you think about this? Are these just jackasses uh, getting in the ring and uh, doing something super, super dangerous? We talked about the old, good old days when we saw people run, doing run-ins at uh, WCW and you see Hulk Hogan kick them in the head as they tried to climb the cage. You know things like that. Uh, some of the, some of my wrestling friends have popped up and saying uh, they, they're lucky. It's the good old days. Praying that the you know wrestlers get to them before security, um, and that's true because if you're at, a lot of times you know especially back when it was real, um, you had to defend that. And if somebody popped in the ring that wasn't supposed to be there that violated that line of the barrier. You had to kick his ass. Like you were almost obliged to uh, take liberties with them because they're jumping into a fight. You know, uh, if somebody ran into the ring in MMA, I feel like those guys are just going to kick them in the head. So let me know what you think on at Mayhem Show or wherever you find this video or audio on WrestlingMayhemShow.com, the Facebook, the YouTube, wherever that may be that this pops up. Let me know what you think about this situation with Troll Station and running in uh, on a wrestling show. And we'll see you guys next time. Please check out uh, Chris LaRusso, a big interview on uh, Indie Wrestling 
Andy Mayhem Show. That's the show. And Wrestling Mayhem Show, he stuck around and gave us some insight uh, from the professional wrestling world as we discussed uh, everything going on in the wrestling world and had a lot of fun with him uh, all night long uh, at the Wrestling Mayhem Show in studio here. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.